गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मिथलेश कुमार प्रजेंटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टूडेज डिस्कस अबाउट वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर क्लास टू पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी नाइन दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स Now let us start your word problems. After read the word problems, which operations apply? Addition, subtraction, multiplications, or divisions? In previous video, discussed word problems related with additions or subtractions. How? Statutes, additions, yes, subtractions. Today's discussed word problems on multiplications. Why to apply such type questions in multiplications forms, not only other forms? So let us start. <coughs> Here. some word problems in front of you i read and solve one by one questions a packet has 72 toffees how many toffees in your packet first of all read the questions and arise questions answers itself a packet has a packet that means one packet a packet that means one packet Has seventy two toffees. How many toffees in a packet? Seventy two toffees. How many toffees are there in six such packets? Suppose you know a packet has seventy two toffees. A packet has seventy two toffees. How many toffees in six such packets? That means number of packets increase. Number of packets increase when you have a packet that you have seventy two toffees. Suppose number of packets increase. In first times you have a packets. Now this times you have six packets of toffees. In a packet, seventy-two toffees. Number of toffees in six such packets. That means increase the number of packets. So increase the number of toffees. How do you obtain answers? Repeated add. Seventy-eight, seventy-two, 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 seventy-two. You read in previous lectures repeated additions. That means. Multiplications. So repeated additions, right, in the form of multiplication. So, dear students, you understand such type problems. A packet, seventy-two toffees. Num. How many? How many? That means how many toffees? Number of packets increase. Number of toffees increase. How do you obtain? Then when you multiply. Then you obtain number of toffees in six such packets. Okay, repeated additions, right in the form of multiplication. So, in first questions, how many? Seventy-two multiplied six. That means six two is a two here. Seven six is a forty two. Forty two point forty three. Four hundred thirty two toffees. Toffees in packets. Any problems? I hope that's no any problems. Now second questions. A basket can hold 180 oranges. A basket that means big packets. Basket is bigger than packets. 
ए बास्केट कैन होल्ड 180 ऑरेंजेस हाउ मेनी ऑरेंजेस कैन बी पैक्ड इन फाइव सच बास्केट्स हियर सेम प्रोसेस नंबर ऑफ बास्केट्स इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ माय ऑरेंजेस इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ ऑरेंजेस इंक्रीज सो सेकंड क्वेश्चंस 180 a basket has 180 oranges. Number of baskets, five, five baskets. So when you multiply, then you zero five multiply zero zero eighteen five is a ninety. So you write here nine hundred oranges in baskets. Any problems? Now, third and last questions of the related topic. A class in a school has four sections. Suppose your school. Your school in your class has four sections. How many sections in your class? Four sections. A section has 50 students. How many students in a section? 50 students a section has 50 students how many students in four section that means 50 multiply 4 is equal to 200 students in your class that's okay this is easy now here Third questions. A class in your school has four sections. Each section has 50 students. Each section has 50 students. So you write here 50 multiply 4. That means this section has 50 students. Number of four sections. And uh, how many students are there in all the sections of the class taken together. Now 0, 5, 4, 10, 20. That means 200. 200 students students in all the section in all the section have you any problem i hope that you understand clearly so dear students first of all you have any problems you watch the video listen the what problems and to watch technique why do multiply here not subtractions not divisions how how so listen carefully then any problems ask them thank you students